What's up everyone, back for another vlog. And in today's vlog, I'm gonna be showing you guys the 10 beers that I'll be reviewing during the upcoming 10 Days of Pumpkin here on my channel. So last year was the first ever 10 Days of Pumpkin. And I basically just wanna do a pumpkin beer theme on my channel. So I decided on the 10 Days of Pumpkin, which is a beer review every day uh, for 10 days leading up to October 31st, which of course is Halloween. And the feedback was fantastic. I had a lot of fun. So here we are with the second annual 10 Days of Pumpkin. And this is going to be an annual occurrence on my channel uh, as long as I can get 10 pumpkin beers each year. So anyway, this year I went with a pretty good variety of pumpkin beers. Last year I touched on a lot of mainstays and popular uh, pumpkin beers. This year I was just like, whatever speaks to me, whatever sings to me, I'm gonna grab. And here we are. So without any further ado, let's get into the 10 beers I'll be reviewing. We're going to be starting on day one. This is Tuesday, October 22nd, and we will be ending on Thursday, October 31st, which of course is Halloween. So for day one, I'll be reviewing from the Shipyard Brewing Company, their pumpkin head ale. So this is a beer I haven't had in well over seven years. And full disclosure, this was, and still is, based on, based on my memory of this beer, this is my least favorite pumpkin beer of all time. Just, just being honest with you. So I wanted to grab this one this year to give it a fair and proper review. And there are so many beers that I have reviewed on the channel that I haven't had in four, five, six plus years that I like now that I didn't used to like or I used to love and maybe I don't anymore because my palate has changed significantly since 2011, 12. So um, I'm gonna give this a, a fair review, a fair shake, and we'll see how uh, my palate treats this one nowadays. But it just, it was one of my least favorite uh, pumpkin beers of all time. So hopefully I enjoy it this time around, but we'll see. On day two, from the Southern Tier Brewing Company, I'll be reviewing their Warlock, and this will be a Western New York Wednesday. Uh, you guys have probably had Warlock. You probably have both of these beers, actually. Um, and last year, I reviewed most of Southern Tier's pumpkin beers. I did their pumpkin versus their cold-pressed coffee pumpkin. I did two different vintages of their rum barrel-aged pumpkin, the 2014-2018. This year, I did their 2019 pumpkin versus their brand new pumpkin nitro. And this is the last within their bottled slash canned lineup of pumpkin beers that I have not reviewed yet. They also have one other pumpkin beer. It's their chai tea infused uh, pumpkin. That is draft only. Uh, maybe next next year I'll grab a, a crawler or growler of it and give it a review and then that'll be all the pumpkin beers unless they come out with a new one, which they might. So yeah, Warlock, we'll see what's up with that one. I've had it so many times. I'm sure, like I said, a lot of you have. And uh, yeah, spoilers, it's a good beer. Uh, so the next one, day three, Griffin Claw Brewing Company's Bourbon Imperial Screaming Pumpkin. Now, five years ago, I had the base of this. I really enjoyed it. So I can't wait to get into this one. Uh, this one was given to me by a good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Jeff, aka No Jinx. You guys know Jeff. He gives me and sends me all kinds of awesome Michigan beer. And he actually came to the West New York area about a week ago and hung out at the other half room company, Immortalis Brewing Company. And I met up with him. He gave me so many beers. And this was one of them. I was like, I'll definitely include this in 10 Days of Pumpkin because A, I really want to try it. And B, I think it'll be fun. So that's day three. Day four from the New Belgian Brewing Company, their Voodoo Ranger Atomic Pumpkin. Now, I have never had this one before. I've wanted to try it for the last uh, couple of years. So I pulled the trigger this year and here we are. This is brewed with habanero peppers. So we'll see how this one is. I've seen a lot of mixed reactions on this one. I'll be curious to see how I enjoy it. I do like pepper beers and I feel like this, this one I should enjoy, but we'll see. That's why I review them. So that'll be day four. Day five from the Two Roads Brewing Company, their Rhodes Mary's Baby. This is a rum barrel aged pumpkin ale. It's only 6.8%, usually sub 8% barrel aged beers, unless they're like some kind of wild or Saison or something like that. Um, or fruit beer. Uh, they usually don't work out that well for me. We'll see what this one's all about. Full disclosure, I bought this one last year and I was gonna do it as the 10 Days of Pumpkin. It, I, it didn't make the cut and I gave the can to my dad. He loved it. He bought another can of it this year. So I was like, since I was gonna do it last year and I didn't, I'm gonna do it this year. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for that one. We'll see how that one is. Uh, day six, we have from Shrogues Independent Brewing, their Master of Pumpkins. Now I wanted to do either Weyerbacher's Imperial uh, Pumpkin Ale or this one. Can't find Weyerbacher uh, really too much in the area anymore. They had the whole um, bankruptcy earlier this year. A lot of their distros dried up in my area, so I have not seen that. On social media, I've seen that that now comes in cans, which really excited me, but not around here. Uh, so I went with Trogues. Not that I'm disappointed, because I've really wanted to try this one for a couple years now. I think they just started uh, getting this one in bottles maybe two, three years ago, especially in my area. Like, I've only seen this the last couple years in my area. So, uh, yeah, really excited to give that one a go. Just a regular pumpkin ale, uh, but I love that it has the cork and cage. Classic Trogues. On day seven, we have one that I wasn't going to grab, and then I went to a bottle shop this weekend, and it was recommended to me. And it is from Prairie Artisan Ales, and it's their basic Becky. It's a huge imperial stout. 
with pumpkin and tons of spices and whatnot. And I like Prairie small bottles. They usually do a good job with them. So I thought I would give this one a go. And uh, yeah, I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna grab it. And uh, I did, so here we are. And uh, the one thing is, I don't think they have released this one in bottles before. I think this was draft only until this year, but I could be wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about usually, so I probably am. Day eight, we have from Rogue L's, their pumpkin patch ale. Now, I haven't bought this one ever. I've never had this one, so I've, this will be the first time I'm, I'm trying it ever. And the reason for that is the price point. And I'll talk about the price point more in, in the actual review of this beer, but this is a 750 milliliter bottle, and it cost me $13.99. And it is a 6.1% pumpkin ale. That's all it is. It's not, this isn't, you know, 12%. It's not been in barrels for a year. It doesn't have all kinds of crazy stuff in it. It's just a pumpkin ale with spices and pumpkin, right? 6.1%, 750 milliliter bottle, $14. Now, if you cut that in half and put it in a 12.7 ounce, 375 milliliter bottle, that'd be $7. That's crazy to me. <laughs> that is crazy. It's the most expensive regular pumpkin beer that I think I've ever bought. And, uh, you know, some of these, these crazy Imperial Stouts, yeah, they're crazy. I think the Prairie one was like $10.99. But that's like 11 or 12, is 11? Yeah, 11 or 12, 11, 11 And it's a pumpkin stout and has all kinds of crazy stuff going on, more so than the Rogue. So we'll see. I I don't judge a book by its cover, although this cover, I actually like <laughs> the uh, label of the of the uh, Rogue um, beer. But, you know, when you're talking about the price point, it usually doesn't factor into my score. At the end of the day, though, I cannot argue this is a crazy expensive beer. But I'll review what's in the bottle not the price. So I'll give it a fair review. It's just, I just thought I had to mention that $13.99. When I saw the price, I was like, excuse me, $13.99? Maybe like $3.99? No, I'm just kidding. It's not like it needs. Anyway, day nine, uh, we're going to have another Western York Wednesday. And this is from a local brewery here, Big Ditch Brewing Company out of Buffalo, New York. I've reviewed a bunch of their beers on the channel. And this was from my cellar because they, re uh, they released this one the night before Thanksgiving last year. They do that every year. They review, or they release a, um, uh, their towpath, which is their imperial stout and their barrel aged towpath, and then they do a bunch of different variants they have on uh, on tap. And last year was the first time I think they bottled their variants, and they did four different variants. They did mix four packs, and I ended up getting two different uh, mix four packs from them, two two of each beer. I actually gave away one four pack to friends. I kept the other one for myself, and I'm gonna review them. I think all this year, I'm gonna review the other three around Thanksgiving. But I saved this one specifically for the ten days of pumpkin because it is part of their detour series, and it's called Stouts Given Pumpkin Pie. So it is their uh, barrel aged towpath imperial stout, but they're brewing it with whole pumpkins and spices so i can't wait to get in that one sounds pretty delicious and uh, i don't know if i've saved the best for last because the last beer the halloween beer comes from the avery brewing company and it is their rumpkin so i've had this one before and honestly one of the best pumpkin beers i've ever had it's a huge rum barrel aged uh, imperial pumpkin ale it's 18 percent alcohol by volume i believe the cool thing about this bottle specifically it's not the 2019 vintage this is the 2016 vintage and this was not my cellar i actually picked this up at premier gourmet one of my local bottle shops of choice and they've been have they've had these on the shelf for quite a while so it's been shelf aged for me so this is over three years old i've had a couple different vintages of rumkin the 2015 i remember being absolutely delicious i believe i had the 2017 so i haven't had this vintage I'm so pumped to get in this one, give it a proper review. Avery's like, I think they call it the annual barrel series where they do a bunch of different, awesome, just huge Imperial uh, beers and they're all barrel age. They do some of the best period when it comes to uh, just, I'll just say just barrel aged beers in general, some of the best, their program, just some of the best beers and uh, their pumpkin beers have been fantastic. The rumkin I've had, I've also had their pumpkin and just fantastic beers. So. These are the 10 beers I'll be reviewing over the next 10 days because the 10 Days of Pumpkin starts tomorrow. Like I said, it ends on Halloween. And yeah, I cannot wait to get into all of these. Um, if you've had any of these beers before, uh, of course, when I review them, let me know what you think about them. Also, if you want to pick any of these up, you should be able to find the vast majority of these. I believe the Shipyard, the Southern Tier, New Belgium, Two Roads, Trogues, Prairie, Rogue, Avery. You should be able to see most of these, especially if you live in the Northeast or the Mid-Atlantic. Probably not going to be able to find the Big Ditch uh, beer. You're probably not going to be able to find uh, the uh, Griffin Claw unless you live in Michigan. So there's a couple maybe you won't be able to grab, but the vast majority of these beers you should be able to grab and drink along if you want to do that. I know some of you do that, and uh, that's really cool because you'll. I get messages where like, oh, I'm drinking along with you. I get this, this, and this. 
absolutely fantastic. So yeah, those are the 10 uh, beers for 10 Days of Pumpkin. I hope you guys enjoy the 10 Days of Pumpkin this year. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun reviewing all these beers. A, because there's a lot that I wanna try, but B, because they're just so interesting. There's, there's uh, you know what? I, I never really loved pumpkin beers back in the day, but I, I've grown to appreciate them. And I only try like the, this, these won't be the only pumpkin beers I drink this year, but it'll be the vast majority of them. So yeah, I can't wait to get into them. So appreciate everybody stopping by for another vlog. Check back tomorrow for a day one of the 10 days of pumpkin where i'll be looking at shipyards uh, pumpkin head ale and uh, we'll see if i actually like it nowadays thanks again cheers